So we're getting to the end of November, and November is Make a Will Month. And go to Grandma Kathy Buckworth is back to share uh, three things that are often overlooked when estate planning. Good to see you. Look at that power suit that right? you're wearing. Good to awesome. see you too. Uh, I haven't talked in a long time. This mm -hmm. is very topical because <laughs> yeah. I know, I know this is bad. We don't have a will. And you're not grandparents, but you're parents. Yes. You have three children. You should definitely have a will and go online and do one real quick if you need to do it that way or see a lawyer. There's so many ways to get it done. Just get it done. Yeah. And once it's done, it is not a once and done document. And I think that's my point today, because a lot of grandparents do have their wills in place. Um, but it's not that's something you set aside. It's something you should go back to and check. And there's a few reasons. Okay. So the three things that we're likely to forget. The first thing is actually, and this came up when the queen died, what happened to her corgis? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Andrew got them. So if you don't want that to happen to your pets. <laughs> Andrew getting her pets? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and pets are actually uh, personal property. They're considered property in your will. So you don't assign guardianship per se, but sort of. So you want to assign that to someone you know is wants the pets first of all can take the pets and you probably want to give them some money for taking those pets because they're expensive right so you want to make sure that you account for any pets that you have if you should pass or if you're moving into a you know somewhere else where you can't take your pets that you have that uh, qualified because what happens to the pets I think they just get they the, uh, the ex executor, executor can decide what to do with them if they're not a pet person you right. don't know what's but it could happen. also be into, then you get into family arguments saying well mom Precisely. and dad said that we get the pets or right? you take the dog right. I don't want the dog I don't want either the dog. way yeah, yeah. right okay. and the second thing is what I call a digital executor. And what that means is people say, well, I don't have a YouTube channel. I don't need to worry about that. Well, guess what? Do you have a Facebook page? Do you email? Do you, are you a lurker on TikTok? You know, all of those things, you have a digital footprint and you have digital assets. So you need to make sure you write down all of your passwords everywhere you exist online and hand them to someone who will be your digital executor. And you can just attach that to your will. Um, I suggest maybe someone who knows how to use the internet yeah. themselves would be a good person to assign to this because you want that website to live on. Maybe you do, maybe you're an author or something and you want that to live on afterwards. Or do you want that all to disappear so people aren't getting reminders but, that I don't you're even, still there? Because Facebook, let's say, or any of these, they just live on. They just live on. And like I said, I often get reminders or anniversaries of people that have passed. And it's it's sad, right? And it's like and somebody needs to take that down, right? You're, you know? you're wishing somebody wishing happy some, birthday. Yeah, and it's like, and it's like yeah, 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 you need to. Okay. And just, you know, you want to manage that part of, uh, you know, when you're gone. Okay. And the third thing is that I just alluded to it. It's the once and done sort of thing. It's not. So you want to make sure maybe you have new grandchildren. Maybe there's been a new marriage or a divorce. Or maybe, you know, you need to sign someone power of attorney. So you really want to look at those things in your will as you age. But you also want to look at who are your life insurance beneficiaries. Maybe some of the people you've assigned that to have passed on themselves. They were peers of yours or siblings or whatever. So make sure you go back and really update what's been going in your family situation. If you did if you did your will with somebody, can you then go online and update it? Um, I believe you yeah, can. Actually, okay. I would check with an estate planner. Okay, so Actually, that's check with an estate planner, whatever is your most recent document. And I just checked this online. Someone else asked me this. Do you need a witness for an online will? In most provinces, you do. So again, check online, look to see. I'd go to RBC myself, but you know, right. any, any estate planner will be able to do this for you. Um, and check to see what the qualifiers are if you do it online versus if you do it with a lawyer. If fairly straightforward, just you can do it online. Yeah. It, yeah. I don't know, it's a, it, it needs to be at the Tam, top of the list, the but then it just gets it gets shuffled down the list for some reason. We had somebody on earlier this month. Let's make about a will one. Exactly. We, okay. <laughs> we had somebody on at the beginning of the month. I think but it I was designed it. for you. Yes, this whole and then month. now the yeah. end of the month. So somebody's <laughs> trying to tell me something. Exactly. Okay. Where can people follow your stuff? Because they can follow my stuff uh, my website at kathybuckworth.com. They can also listen to my podcast. Go to Grandma. We do talk about estate planning a lot. And this week, actually, we have something on estate planning for your pets, which people are going to want to listen to. Estate planning for your pets. So yeah, yeah so, 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 the, so the podcast and, and the radio. And you, like, what other type of topics are you talking about on the, on oh the podcast? Oh my gosh, everything, because it, I, I, as I keep saying, this is not a show about aging. This is a show about being grandparents. We, Mark Saltzman has been oh, on my show right a couple of times. Right. I'm having Bob Cowan on. Get that Yes, no I am. Way. I'm going to oh, interview good. him in a couple of weeks to get catch up on him and his retirement and, and broadcasting, <laughs> et cetera. And so we do fitness, travel, and going to Northern Ireland on Sunday. Okay, and so be back to the travel, because a lot of the time when you were used to be on it, it was for travel. It so you're going, for you're, travel. Going, you're going back to travel. I'm doing back travel because, guess what we're traveling again so right. I'm doing Northern Ireland I'm going to see where the Dairy Girls is filmed Game of Thrones go to the Titanic Museum talking about historic travel really sort of worthwhile travel is what I'm talking about like pinpointed travel go somewhere slow travel you might call it and stay there like for a right. week have you been to Northern Ireland not before? to Northern Ireland I've been to Ireland before so I'm really looking forward to that Amazing. so we're and I we also do a lot of fitness stuff okay. A lot of nutrition, yeah. everything we're dealing with. Grandkids. Um, yeah. Are you wearing that power suit to Ireland? Do next, it. Next time I'm wearing the red one and sitting on the red chair. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Safe travels. Have Thank a good day. You. Have a good day, Thanks. everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.